Welcome back, Chronics, and thanks for joining me. Today we're just continuing my stomach saga, which, you know, I don't even know if it's ever going to end at this point, but I've spent so much time already that I can't give up now. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not giving up because I know something's wrong, so eventually someone will listen to me and figure this out. But until then, I have no problem calling and emailing and calling and emailing and calling and emailing. Okay, so we left off where the surgeon wanted me to see the head of endoscopy about getting an ERCP, looking in my bile ducts, etc. They said he would reach out to me to make an appointment. Did that happen? No, of course not. So I waited um, three weeks and they said someone would be in touch in another week. Um, another week went by, didn't hear anything. So now it's a month after and everyone's saying we don't know anything. So per usual, I took things into my own hands and I found the doctor's email and I emailed him directly explaining my situation. Except I don't think he exactly understood what I was saying because I was getting a referral from a surgeon. So he wanted me to go through gastroenterology, which I already have and thought I had explained that but because I'm a complex case, which just basically means like a, like, go away, we don't want to deal with you case, the endoscopy guy would need to see me in the clinic or get notes from my GI in the clinic. There are already notes, just so you guys all know. Like, it's all, it's all already there, so, yeah. Of course, the next appointment is until the end of March, so, you know, as I'm just watching my life pass me by, yeah, I'm not waiting till March. Um, I already emailed my gastroenterologist telling him that I want some kind of gallbladder test, whether it's a esophageal ultrasound where they can go down and look around, or an ERCP, which they apparently call a procedure. So you can't go straight to the ERCP unless you like don't have a gallbladder or have stones that are the size of Texas. I did mention that I already have an appointment with him, but seeing as October 22nd is still well over a month away, I said, let's get a test in before I come see you, because this is beyond the point of ridiculousness. Everyone's just passing me in a circle, and I just want someone to pay attention so I can tell them what I know, which is on us, if our stones are small enough, you're not going to see them on an MRCP because our bile ducts are usually dilated. So it's like they're hiding in there. This doesn't happen with normal people. So I have to make sure they know that I'm not normal so they can look at this. I'm glad I'm going through it so that I can coach everyone else to go through it. If they're gonna screw around and find out, it better be with a Sagittarius because we're just gonna come after you. We're the nicest, meanest people you'll ever meet. It really takes a lot to push us to that dark side, but once we go, there's no returning. So I will keep you guys updated when I get that scheduled before I go to my next appointment and bring my mother, who will lose her mind like she did when I was 11, when they said I didn't have mono, but I had mono. I don't care my age. I don't care her age. I'm bringing her and we're getting it done. So this is why we have to keep pushing chronics and we never give up. We hang in there and we don't take crap from anyone. I will talk to you guys next time.